We've talked a lot about how it was our desire to make a film that feels more like the early Saw movies in terms of simplicity on the one hand, where we don't have to worry about convoluted time tricks, but also just to be able to focus on John's character. I don't suppose you can tell me how it looks, can you? Unfortunately, I'm just the technician. And this movie we set out, the very first document we have written in January 2018, so five years ago from where we're sitting here right now, it was called Saw 9, John Kramer. After Jigsaw, we were working on a, a script, which was this story. And Chris Rock came to us and he said, I love your Saw movies. He said, I've always wanted to be in one. And then we got a call that Chris Rock wanted to talk about being in a Saw movie, and then everything was put on hold. And we had to scrap what was going to be Saw 9, which is now Saw 10. When Chris Rock came in with the, the spiral script, and he had an open window of availability. We kind of shifted gears and we did that movie, but we knew we were gonna come back to this script. So we had to wait about two and a half years before we revisited the story, although Pete and I were working on it throughout that entire process, knowing that it would probably wind up getting made one day. For years, I have pitched the idea of let's do Saw Zero, meaning a Saw movie taking place before Saw 1. So the character of Jigsaw is alive, and there are stories that happen prior to the story that we learned in Saw 1. 